All right, back. Doing other stuff. So we we basically get a staircase down here, and we head back to the room we were before. Now that you can already see what we need to do here, if you didn't notice it already, which is uh, put this block in here. That that is how you progress, and uh, we'll get some stuff falling from the heavens here, apparently. That all allow us to cross this area. Uh, so we'll get outside, and we are actually on the over uh, overworld part of this map, this dungeon. So basically, there is quite a few enemies here as well. There's like 14, but you can't kill them all at once because they're in different sections and stuff like that. So we will be doing some stuff before we get to that. There we go, just blocked in time. I think this gives you a ladder back to the star, which you don't need, obviously. There, you can also fall down there, but uh, I don't think you want to do that, so... I think we take these stairs... No, actually, I think these go to the same place, but let's take... Yeah, they do. So, yeah, these the ladder leads to the same place, basically, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, not the ladder, the ledge. There's an R wedge that you can fall down, and I don't, I don't... You might need to go backtracking if you do fall down there. It's not this one. Uh, what does this skeleton say? Huh. Croc. Well, he's dead now. Are there any enemies here? No. There is a chest up there we won't be able to get until later. Uh, but we, what we can do is we can cycle dash these uh, statues. It will actually destroy them. So we're going to take a while to in order to get over there. To that chest. It doesn't help the fact that I keep um, uh, attacking before it's done. There we go. Come on. Okay, chest time. An herb. Because why not? An herb. Whatever. I wonder if it would uh, in the European version right is a herb. I don't actually know. Right, so the other ledge here, this is where we go now. So just fall off here and go in there. Uh, we're probably going to have to go about. Uh, we're probably going to have to go outside quite a bit in this because there's like there's a lot of rooms here, and I got hit again. So you'll notice that now we have a pretty good HP bar. Now uh, we aren't really going to take that much, that many hits, to be honest. Oh come on. Yes, you've also got to face the direction, but sometimes it'll bug out on you like that. It's unfortunate. Uh, if we go around here, we can smash this thing. All right. The first boss is not uh, easy, by the way. But we can use good old freedom when we do get there. So, and our strength increased, which is good. Strength is always good, obviously. And now we got these slime-like dudes. I don't know what they are, really. Okay. They, they seem to actually have a bit of health, but we'll take them out easy. Remember to check the map whenever you want to um, check where enemies are. This fla flying head is kind of annoying, but if you keep attacking, it should um, eventually die. Right, that should be all the ones over here. Don't know which direction to go, so... Ah, right, yeah, forgot about that. There should be a dark space o over here somewhere, I hope. Is there a dark space? Let's go and check. Actually, I think there's one at the end of this room. Um. Uh, right, is there anything here? Not really. Or we need to go somewhere else, I guess. Oh, back on the cliff face, are we? In our skeleton. Gold statue, huh? Yes, we pretty much know what to do here. Right, let me kill this thing here. It actually works, okay. Right, uh, I think this takes us back up where we don't need to go, so it should be in here. 
Yes, this is the puzzle room, basically. It's fairly obvious what you need to do. Uh, put these statues on the four things. If you do get close to these statues, they will actually attack you. They will... Yeah, it's basically saying you got to put stuff on these tiles. But yeah, don't get close to them. Um, we're going to kill them after. But uh, as of right now, don't kill them. Make sure you don't. Come on. There you go. And you can step on the last one. Now when you if you get close to them, they will actually turn into an enemy. And they do these fire attacks. So keep just doing the jump attack and you should be okay. I took a hit there. So yeah, I don't really need to kill do I Will they actually give me a bonus? I don't actually know that because I never done this before. So I was taking some damage from these guys just to see if they, they give us a bonus. They probably wouldn't, but I mean, you, you, your probably best option is to um, just jump attack and uh, make sure you don't get hit by the fire. I mean, that's simple enough, right? There we go. The problem is, if you do jump attack and fall backwards, then you you will still take damage from these guys. Right, this seems okay. Right, that's better. No, I did not get any bonus. That was just wasting my time. Oh yeah, this part. Don't step on the tiles unless uh, you need to because uh, uh, because they will actually damage you if you do fall on the the um, tiles that I'm going to show. So like, if you if you were under that, you were running towards it, and then you would you would go. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, I hate these things, man. All right, there we go. Oh, that's, I was very lucky that missed me. Hey, it's a dark space. Now I can heal. And change to free Dan because I should. Yeah, so you get fully healed when you when you are uh, in the dark space. And change into this guy. Okay. Right. Let's continue on. Yeah, we're actually making progress through here. There is a red jewel that we'll get later on. But uh, that's pretty much one of the only items. Now, does telekinesis block that? I don't actually know if the telekinesis is, uh, actually blocks that attack. Let's see. Yeah, it does. So yeah, anyone can use the uh, well, Freedan well can use the um, the telekinesis in order to block, which is good. And I took care of everything else, so no real reason to uh, stay here. One thing we do get when we get here is the melody. And we learn the melody of the wind. Uh, I don't... Oh, right, these are just... Uh, Go over them again, okay. So I learned the melody of the wind, which is good, I guess. <laughs> We've got to get, go to the next part of this place now, I think. Unless I have skipped it. I'm pretty sure we need to go to the next place, so I think it is down here. If I'm not mistaken. Is it down here? Or was I just here? No, it is down here, okay. I am right. I th no, this was where we just were. But I can now get that floating statue, which I believe opens up the next area. Yeah, it does. So only Freedan can hit that guy, so now you can basically go down this ramp. Right, okay. Whoop, out we go. Whoa, that's a bit far, isn't it? Uh, right, okay, enemies. There was like six more, so 
Where did these guys even spawn? <laughs> Don't even know slime things. Alright, there's some stuff up there. Let's go check it out. Okay, we got the floating head and the slimes. Freedan is like overpowered when it comes to combat, so you shouldn't have any problem really um, with regular enemies with them. And we get more HP, which I always appreciate. And there isn't anything else, so let's continue. Ah, right, the Guardians. These guys are called Guardians, and they are basically the people you fought before, but uh, these guys only um, throw spears. So they are actually much less annoying, as you can see. Uh, I think you need to kill them to get the, um, the thing in this room, so yeah. And another one of these floating head things. Right, okay. I think I know where I'm going. Well, I just killed that without it moving. Uh, right, okay, you got to go round and uh, run down the ramp. Down we go. There we go. And stops me there. Okay. Yeah, these slime guys are just pathetic, really. Uh, down there, we're gonna kill some more of those guardian guys. Uh, is there anything else, really? Oh, I think go north here, and yes, you can fight this guy here and get a chest, which I don't actually know what it has in it. An our herb, okay. So there isn't really that many herbs in the game, so make sure you do conserve uh, them. Get these guys. Easy enough. <laughs> um, right, okay. Uh, you can't you can't go close to these guys and spawn them in. You've got to hit this button at the end to make sure they all spawn in at the same time. But after that, you just go slightly diagonal from them and just keep slashing basically, <laughs> and it takes them out relatively easily. And you get a defense upgrade. Now this should be the next area, yep. On the... Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I forgot to actually block. Uh, now this should be the reigning enemies all down here. And that should be taking us to all the bonus stuff we can get here, so make sure you do kill all the enemies outside. And you'll get a bonus, which is a strength. So make sure you do get this, because strength is always useful. Now that should be the way back up, so we go in here, and this is somewhere I forget where I am. Okay. Oh, there's still these slime things. Well, there's a lot of enemies. Right, okay. Another one of these areas. It's just, they look so similar, it's just like, damn. Yeah, same deal here with the guys. Now we're doing 3 damage to them. Enemies generally don't have that much HP, especially boss bosses. They all have 40, apart from one of the bosses. And, uh, it's, uh, it's not even a real boss, to be honest. That one that doesn't have, um, 40. So every boss basically does have 40 uh, HP. Uh, right, now this one, you should go and make sure you kill these slimes before you run down the ramp. Just in case you miss them. I don't think there's anything else, so let's go back up. And you run down here. And go down. This is the part that has like four of these guys. Or five or something. They have a lot of the head guys. Yeah, four. Uh, but they're not too difficult once again. And we get HP here. Now, I think you should go up here first. Uh, going down is the way to the exit. 
so basically, this is going to be the. Um, yeah, this is. Okay, I know where I am. This is the place where you can change into Will in order to use the melody in the next area. If you didn't know, um, we basically need to do that unless you have already played this and you know what to do. Okay, I've got like two lives. I, I don't really call them lives because it's basically like checkpoints. Chem checkpoint points, I don't know. <laughs> and there's one more bug thing. And we get more strength, which is good. Uh, let's actually check the strength. Not that. You can see our inventory is already getting pretty full with the quest items and such. Uh, it's condition, isn't it? Dark power. Uh, five strength. Right, okay. You found a red jewel. Right, well that is the red jewel in this area then. There is only one. Uh, let's look what the skeleton says. The melody of the wind. Well, we're gonna have to be well in order to play melodies. Or actually, wait. If you're not well, will you? I don't actually know if you will. Um. Or I forget. Let's see if I switch to the melody. He doesn't have the flute. Yeah. Okay. You gotta be well. The thing is, generally, when you need to play the melodies, you will be well automatically when you're running around towns and stuff like that. It's just in some dungeons you will occasionally need to play these melodies. So let's go well, just to, even though I know what to do at this next part. Let's go down and, uh, yeah, to the next area, basically. It was down here. Right, so basically you have no enemies in this room, this is just a big golden room that doesn't really have much in it. So let's play the wind melody. The gold block began to glow. So you step on this this block basically, and you wait for a, a decent amount of time. And the door will open, and that will take us basically to the end of the area. Um, now we got to do a bit of item management. Remember the part wh where they said uh, put the statues in the uh, the head, so there, go put the first one in, and you'll encounter a dark space, so I'm going to change back into Freed End for the boss, because the boss is much easier as the Freed End <laughs> guy, because you just realise you do more damage, so yeah. Uh, I shouldn't need to use a herb on this guy, I'm basically at full health, so yeah. So go over here. I don't think I need to play the melody again. I probably do, and probably just screwed that up. Okay, so put the other statue there, then go in to the center of these three stones. And you will jump over here. Uh, now, is there anything up here? Uh, it's a bridge over at the star, I believe, or something. What is up here, actually? Okay, it's so a way back uh, down, a ledge back down to if you missed anything. So let's go and uh, fight this boss. So you immediately get into the room, and you know shit's going down. A very cool uh, graphic, uh, graphically cool boss here. Uh, so immediately you're you're thrown into attacking him, and you probably don't know what to do much. Basically, there there are these um, flames that go around and. Also, these things that. Okay. And then, when his eyes open, you should be able to keep attacking the boss here. And when he starts to shape, make sure you run into one of these corners and he won't be able to attack you. You literally will not be able to attack you. Uh, so, yeah, basically, that's how you, you start fighting him. 
He's also got fire that goes around. I'm not caring too much about the uh, fire. Oh, damn it. Can't believe that hit me. There we go. So his eyes are opening. I think you can stand right here. Yeah, you can stand right there and wail on him. And it becomes much easier if you do have Frida. And after that, Will will return to his original form. Back to the Flute Master. So if you're well, you do a, lot, a little less damage, but you are a little bit more mobile. And you can maybe charge Psycho Dash and try it on him. Otherwise, yeah, that was the first boss. I didn't do too bad this time. I have died to him before. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, uh, see you guys on the next episode of Illusion of Gaia when we see what the hell is going on in that back room.